We have already discussed the evaluation of goodwill in our earlier module. We had four different methods, average profit method, super profit method. We had capitalization of super profit method, <coughs> weighted average profits method, annuity method. <clears throat> what was goodwill? We said it was, it is built, it is there because of certain advantages of the partnership. It may be its location, it may be its management, it may be its people, it may be in, in all this has added up to allowing this business to make super profits in future. So goodwill is the ability of the business to make extra profits, super profits in future. Valuation of goodwill has been done before. Now what we will do is the accounting entries required in case of goodwill, valuation on the admission of a partner. Like we discussed before, if the partnership firm has a goodwill and it is not there in the balance sheet, it means the benefit, the value of this goodwill is not reflected in the old partner's capital accounts. Therefore, we need to pass some accounting entry so that the old partners get the benefit of this goodwill <coughs> after a new partner comes in. Now, goodwill, basically, good sound accounting practice says that if we think there is goodwill in the business, that is something which has been built inherently over a period of time, it should not be raised in the books. There is a lot of subjectivity in how we will value the goodwill and therefore inherently generated goodwill is not actually shown in the balance sheet. It may be there, it exists, but we do not bring it into the books. When do we bring goodwill into the books? When we purchase goodwill. What is purchased goodwill? We pay cash for it and purchase goodwill. Suppose there is a partnership firm and it takes over another partnership firm. It takes over the assets and liabilities of another partnership firm. Now, when you value the total assets of this new partnership firm, maybe it is worth 10 lakhs. But we, let us say, we pay for it. What do we call this? A purchase consideration. The consideration we pay for the purchase of this business, let us say, is 12 lakhs. So we end up paying 2 lakhs extra and why do we pay this 2 lakhs? We say this is nothing but the payment for goodwill. This is purchased goodwill and only this kind of goodwill should be reflected in the books of accounts, in the balance sheet. When we pass an accounting entry, we would say goodwill debit for 2 lakhs, other assets debit for 10 lakh to the person, vendor, person from whom we are purchasing this asset. So goodwill actually will be reflected in the books only if it is purchased, only if we pay cash for the goodwill. But it is possible that there is, exists in the business inherently generated goodwill. This business, this partnership which has been in existence for the last 10 years, has great goodwill, has great reputation, has an ability to make super profits for the next several years to come. Therefore, it is understood that there is some goodwill in the business, but we are not able to show that in the balance sheet. Sound accounting practice does not allow us to raise this goodwill <coughs> in the books of account, to show this goodwill in the balance sheet. But this goodwill which has been generated over the past 10 years, over the efforts of the old partners for the last 10 years, and now that a new partner, C, is coming into the partnership, and like we said, mentioned before, if the firm is to be liquidated the day after tomorrow, A, B, and C all will share in the benefit of this goodwill. So it is only right 
that when C comes in for the share of the goodwill, his share of goodwill, to which he has not contributed at all, mind you, that share of goodwill, his share of goodwill should actually be credited to the old partners. It should go to the old partner's capital account depending on the sacrifice that the old partners are making. So we sometimes, a partnership firm will ask the new partner to bring in an amount of goodwill premium. We think the value of the goodwill is 5 lakhs. He is being, he is, C comes into the business for one fifth share, one fifth of 5 lakh, 1 lakh goodwill premium should be brought in by the new partner. <clears throat> this premium this goodwill premium, this amount which comes in is actually then credited to the old partner's capital accounts in the ratio of their capitals. <clears throat> that would be the accounting entry. But goodwill premium, we compute the amount of goodwill premium. Sometimes the partner is able to bring in cash for that amount and sometimes he is not able to bring in the cash for that amount. But either way, <clears throat> It is best that we debit his account, debit his account, debit the gaining partner's account with his share of goodwill and credit the sacrificing partners in their sacrificing ratio. We will discuss this with a few examples. <clears throat> when we discuss this treatment of goodwill premium, it may be brought in cash, it may be brought partly in cash, may be brought in full, may be brought in part or may not be brought in, not brought in by the new partner. Again, when it is brought in, it may be retained in the business or it may be, it may be retained or it may be withdrawn or it may be withdrawn by the old partners. Again, when part is brought in, it may be retained or it may be withdrawn by the old partners. And if it is not brought in, of course, it is not added to the resources. However, the old partners, a capital accounts will be credited in their sacrificing ratio. Let us understand further. So, goodwill, before we move on, goodwill can be brought into the books only if it is purchased, only if the firm pays cash for the amount of goodwill. Otherwise, despite even if cash is not brought, paid and there is goodwill in the books, it is inherent goodwill. The firm has built up good reputation. Such inherently generated goodwill cannot be shown in the balance sheet, cannot be reflected in the books of accounts as a matter of sound accounting practice. Therefore, however, since such an asset does exist in the business, it is only fair that the sacrificing partners, that the sacrificing partners, they are given some compensation by the new partner who will also now in future participate in this goodwill, get the benefit of this goodwill of the 